Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. We've offered you three tarot she's read for you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, jeez. All right, that, that's clearly between the two of you. I don't know what is going on, but jumping into this, Pisces, what they're showing me. I don't know why I get this energy of they're all balled up. They're all balled up. It's like um, it's like a cat. A cat is all usually like you know a typical animal. It's like a ball of energy. You know, it's like you you scratch its back for a, a second too long, and all of a sudden it's kind of like you know, and the claws are out, and they're they're so energized and amped up that they don't know what to do with themselves. That they kind of like you know, love bite. Um, they show me so much anxiety, but also so much excitement at the same time. And it's kind of like, okay, here we go. Um, is it electrifying or is it something you want to kind of stay away from? I don't know. They, they show me so much excitement at the same time. They're kind of saying, you know what? Some sort of transitional period that they're having to kind of accept it is what it is. Now, here's what's very interesting about the two of you. There is an energy here where they're kind of like saying... You know, it's someone saying, I feel the way I feel. I think the way I think it is what it is. It's like, you know, I have butterflies and they're driving me crazy, but it is what it is. I'm so excited because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's like, it could be like dog puppy energy or little kitten cat energy. Um, whatever this transitional period is that they themselves are going through. What's interesting about this, it seems like they're pushing caution aside They're pushing caution aside and it's almost like you can kind of kiss their good judgment goodbye. There's an energy where they do not want to control themselves around you, Pisces. Um, in fact, it's an energy of they do see you. They are clearly well aware of you and they're clearly attracted to you. Um, and what's interesting about this is you show up, nothing going on. And they feel emotions and feelings and they feel something kind of emotionally bubbling up for you. What's interesting about this um, is they're trying to put together some sort of plan as to how to have things progress and move forward between the two of you to where it kind of more so creates this ideal dynamic or relationship or connection or something here between the two of you. They're saying ultimately that's what would make them happy. That's what would make them fulfilled at the same time. Um, they're fighting and battling themselves, and I don't know why. It's like they're, they're, they're finding it hard to kind of literally contain or control themselves or kind of, you know, keep their shit on lock. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. 
And it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's kind of this energy of like contain or control yourself, but. Oh, geez. Who is that? There you are, Pisces. Okay, so it's definitely it's definitely to you. Look at this whole process. <laughs> Look at this whole process. Um, Just like, I was going to say, just like that. Just like that. Up, up they skedaddle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Up they skedaddle. Play on, play a, play on. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> By then you by then you catch on to their games, Pisces. By then you catch on to their games. If you're not already, I kind of feel like you are, because um, like I said, there's there's no in, there's no communication, there's no interaction. This is literally them projecting what they would like to have and what they would like to create between the two of you. Get this, they're battling themselves, they're fighting themselves. Like I said, they, they've thrown caution to the wind. It's gone. They, they gave up good judgment. They don't want to control themselves. They're, they're kind of like, I feel a little bit out of control when I'm dealing with Pisces. And it's like, at the same time, um, their situation is getting more troublesome for them. Even though they show me like, oh, no, I'm happy. I'm fulfilled. I could clearly, I, you know, things are good. Things are great. I'm unbothered. I'm indifferent. Things are moving forward. And what's interesting about this is even though there is this progression of them feeling what they feel for you, they go through, how do I say this? They flip through their modes and i just told i believe aquarius this changing perspectives and changing energies like the drop of a hat i'm emotional today drop i'm cold now drop now i'm gonna be fun and flirty drop now i'm thinking tangibly and i want to think about money they're just switching through their energies very very quickly and it's for the sake of well I do have emotions and feelings for Pisces. I've realized how much emotions I do have, but wait a minute, let me stop. Let me think strategically about this, of how I'm going to approach Pisces. What am I gonna say? What am I not gonna say? They're really watching themselves. There definitely is some sort of communication taking place between the two of you. But what's very fascinating about this, um, they're wanting to present to you, Pisces, like they're not bothered. Like I said, like they're indifferent, that they can do this, they can take care of that. And what's interesting is, um, Unfortunately, they've dropped the ball. And I don't know why or what that means, but this is where it gets so very interesting. Um, it almost kind of seems and feels like, did they communicate or reach out to you or send you a message and you just left them on red or you ghosted them? Because as they're moving forward from this interaction between whether the talk or conversation took place or not, they're not happy. And it's like, what happened? They got, it's like, did you ghost them or did you swerve them? Which one was it? Get this though. That energy of not wanting to control or contain oneself. They have someone else on the side besides you. That they're kind of like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go for them. And they're 100% emotionally and mentally on board with, in their perspective, settling for someone because they couldn't get you. Even though they show me this energy and get this Pisces, this is one of those things where it's like play on playa. They run over and choose someone else that doesn't even make them happy and fulfilled, but also throws them through the emotional ringer even more. And they're kind of saying, well, I just don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. Though, like I said, they're trying to present themselves as indifferent, like they don't care, that they're not affected by this. But yet in the back of their mind, they're still hoping and they're still praying for you, Pisces, because overall what they're kind of saying is if I juggle Pisces with someone else, I'll gain some sort of perspective as to who I have more lust than attraction for it is what it is um of course if you are dealing with anyone we do have heavy fire showing up you could be dealing with air heavy air as well water wow go figure no worse goodbye